know it's Friday. It is Friday. Thank goodness, huh? Yes. <laughs> the candy's still here. I can't believe that. We have we have sold some candy, um, but well, we had a couple of boxes of it too. So yeah, uh, candy's good stuff. It's getting near Halloween. Halloween is not the best time to sell candy because <laughs> the uh, trunk or treats have already started. Really? Around here, so yeah. Yeah, we start handing out candy about, I guess in Mississippi it starts about October 5th. Start having little parties here and there, so. Ain't nothing wrong with candy. Nothing wrong with candy. What's your favorite Halloween candy? Uh, Anything Lifesavers, because I don't like chocolate, so uh, it takes me out of a lot of the candy. I like but, the Smarties. Smarties are good, too. Yeah, things are fabulous. Anything not chocolate pretty much so do you raid the kids east or a halloween bu bucket and take all the good stuff most of the time i don't have to they're pretty good about handing me some stuff because see they they have no competition when it comes to their favorite candy because it's all chocolate so yeah they don't really care about the other stuff so they're throwing <laughs> it out well mine used to like to give me the you know the mary jane's you know the orange and the black ones that's oh, the yeah. little peanut butter taffy and i actually like them so but he thought he was, you know. See, that's the way mine goes with, uh, with us. But now with her, she likes the same chocolate they do. So they they have to compete with it a little bit. But I don't. I just get, I just tell them, just give me the leftover stuff. I'm fine. <laughs> when really, truly, that's what I want anyway. So. I like him Starburst pretty well, too. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Starburst, Starburst is, is hard too. to beat. <laughs> Either way. Oh, man. Pick your poison with a candy, right? That's it. Well, what we got cool and new this week? What I've been showing everybody is I saw these and wanted to grab some just to show people. These are by Vim. Uh, so your, your Maco dealer is probably not going to have them. I don't have a hundred sets of them or anything like that. But I saw these and, and wanted to purchase some just to see. You know, Sears used to have some Craftsman pliers mm -hmm. similar to this. And the nothing, Robo Grip. Yeah nothing against them but they were the most terrible thing ever pretty much yep um so when i saw these it's like all right what's the improvements vim's one of those companies that are constantly improving and they're taking the ideas that people's had in the past and they're perfecting them and they're making mm -hmm. them really good tools so and, and later on i have no doubt that you'll probably see these whether it be mac cornwell maco snap on you'll probably see something like this come out because yep. they're just one of those companies that perfects it to a way that they're a must-have tool at that point mm -hmm. you know that's just like the grip edge stuff um you know that's max had that stuff for a while i mean companies that do this that perfect it we all thought this was a great idea in fact when i was a kid helping my grandpa work on lawnmowers and stuff he had some of the sears ones mm -hmm. and that was the ones i thought was the best you would grab them and then you'd run, learn real quick that they would <laughs> They wouldn't answer, right? Yeah. But from what I have seen, they have made these um, to where they're actu actually going to do what the job you need. Um, they're nowhere near as flimsy as the, the other ones was. Right. Um, they do have the V cut there. They do have the grips. And you could almost take the ones uh, that I was talking about, put your finger in there and never really hurt your finger mm -hmm. at all. These here, I did it the other day, and I can tell you, they get tight, Yeah. Uh, and, and they're going to break some stuff loose. So, takes the adjustable wrench style and, and makes it to where you actually got a plier style. Mm -hmm. um, the thing I don't like about adjustable pliers, uh, or adjustable wrenches, I should say, is you set the little dial, and then when you start to turn, the least little give on the corners, and next thing you know, you're rounding. Yeah. The good thing about this is, you get it tight, you start squeezing, if it does give any, you're squeezing tighter and it's not mm -hmm. gonna not gonna round. And that's my biggest uh, worry with things like these and uh, the adjustables. Are they gonna round? Yeah. I see these. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna compare them to Nipix and say, well, they're just as great as Nipix. I don't know. I just got mm -hmm. these this week, but I see these kind of like the Nipix. Uh, quick adjust. Like, yeah, the quick adjust mm -hmm. because they're the same way. They bite. They tight. Now. Their if you teeth, notice, it's the same technology. I'll well, that's what I was going to say. On this larger pair here. That's what I was going to say. Because you can see it's got the teeth on the front side, and it's smooth on this back side. 
Well, in the same way with the teeth up here, you've got these going this way, mm -hmm. and then you've got these here. So I think it's, uh, you know, Nipix has definitely found the technology in pliers. Yeah. Um, but I think these are right behind it, if not right there with it. I don't know. Sure. Now, I haven't used these on a job, but, man, I like these things. They do squeeze and bite down yeah. really well. I know that. So that's that's my thing, you know. Uh, these are probably going to be mine. If I have a job to do between <laughs> now and the time they sell, they're probably going to be mine. Because, yeah. you know, you send. my biggest thing is when I send the kids to get some tools for me, there's no telling what they're coming back sure, with. Sure, sure. So if I can have something like this that I can say, hey, go get me those green and black pliers. Well, you know, that's a pretty good size. I can go from that to that. So we'll see. I'm going to try them out. They come in 5, 7, and 10. Uh, I saw these and I fell in love with them, so I wanted to get them on the truck, see what my guys thought. Everybody's really liked them. Like I said, some of your micro guys might have them if they're like me and just like tools. Right. Uh, I said that a long time ago. I'm just a tool fanatic. I like all tools. Uh, so if they do, they might have them. But if not, they probably don't have them. So. Well, have you got the new Insider Ratchet yet? I have not got the Insider Ratchet. Uh, I've been waiting on... Pretty much waiting on the not going to happen. Uh, <laughs> I was waiting on <laughs> Mako to get it in our line. Yeah. Uh, and it got released yesterday that Michael's not going to officially carry that ratchet. You're talking about the pass-through ratchet, mm -hmm. correct? Um, I'm not... Uh, how do I stay politically correct on this? Let me ask you this, and, and you can just say yes or no. Do you think it's because the socket? 100%. Like, you can stop right there, 100%. Okay. Okay. That's what we that's, were told. That's fine. I mean, well, it's a valid point, right? Yeah, that's I what mean, we they were don't told. want to sell the competition's hard line. And yeah, we were told when we went with this. Um, now, I, I'm not saying I agree with that decision. Yeah. Um, but I don't. I'm, I'm not bashing either. So mm -hmm. let's let's get that put out there. I'm not. I'm not bashing Maco. I'm not. Well, at least they're honest enough to say that, right? Yeah. And not so, come up with some BS excuse. Well, and to be fair. To, to be fair, we were told when we got announced that we were doing this at Expo, they said we will not carry their hard line. Hard line. We're not mm -hmm. going to have their that wrenches. Makes sense. Yeah, I mean, it really does. You know, we're we're not going to have their wrenches. We're not going to have their sockets. But with but saying that, when this pass through ratchet come out, I thought, oh, this is this is good. We're partners yeah. with Milwaukee. I never thought about the socket part mm -hmm. of it. Well, see when. Like when you said they're not going to, that was the first thing yeah. that came to my mind as well. It's because they yeah. have to have their sockets. Right? Well, as soon as I saw the email yesterday, and I before I even scrolled down, I was like, it's got to be the sockets. It's mm -hmm. got to be. And sure enough, it, it did say that, um, and, and it's not necessarily um, that, well, it's not that the sockets wouldn't be any good. It's just it's, we're not, we've, we've said we wouldn't carry the hard line, and that's what happened, but... Well, I mean, you got to look at it too on Matco's point, right? They yep. spend millions of dollars to get inventory with yep. their name on it, right? And they don't want to bring in, you know, a competitor product. I mean, yeah. I understand. So, that, so. you know, um, I've got mixed feelings about it. The only thing that I could say in our little group chat about it was we're, we're, we're going to miss out on mm -hmm. that aspect. I just, to be honest with you, though, how many times would you really have to have that application? Well, I, mean, and I, I, see, I, I thought that you know, too. bolts and stuff, but now they got the extra deep sockets, right? Yeah. That you can get, so. so I thought about that too. I was like, all right, how many times? But here's my butt on that. It don't really matter how many times a customer's going to use it. I'm in the business of selling tools. Sure, sure. So if a customer wants it, I would like to have the ability to sell it. They do sell the bare tool without the sockets. I'm, I'm pretty certain on that. I may be incorrect. But if we could offer a version like that, I would really mm -hmm. like that. Well, I mean, I guess my but, point was is like if a guy come on here and says, I got this job and I need this, like yeah. you could still sell him something to get oh, yeah, that yeah, job. Oh, yeah, yeah, And I'm still going to so, try. I'm still, not like you're leaving your customers hanging. Yeah, I, I'm still going to try to get them into something. Um, and, and I get why Maco don't want to sell it without the sockets because that's kind of like selling a car without a fuel pump. You know, it's not mm -hmm. going to work without it. So I, I get it. But. It's just one of those things. Um, I, I have no doubt that there's going to be micro trucks that have them. Um, but the official statement that I got um, was that we're not we're not going to carry them. So, 
Well, I mean, that only opens the door for, hey, can you get me this Milwaukee ratchet? You yeah. know, like their standard ratchet. And it, and it does that. So, so you know. Um, I get it. To be a good tool salesman, you got to be able to, to pivot. You almost got to be like a zero turn lawnmower. Uh, if you and and car salesmen have to be the same way. That's the only time you'll hear me compare myself to a car salesman. If you go looking for this car, this exact model, and it's not there, you have to try to sell them what you got. So um, we have we have the ability to get everything else, as you can see. So mm -hmm. we'll get them into something for sure. Well, I had an interesting email this week, and I know we've talked about it before, but a guy was wanting to know what my opinions was on buying sockets and stuff. He's like, what kind of chrome half-inch sockets do you recommend? And I said, absolutely none. Why do you need chrome half-inch drive sockets? Right. Most of the time, if it's a 27-millimeter nut you're trying to get off, there's plenty of room that you can use impact on. You know, especially with the technology there is, but I recommended, you know, I was like, do what I did. I bought the half inch ADV set and it's perfect, you know. So if, if, uh, if, if I'm using a half inch drive and I can't get an impact on it, I'm, I'm already a little ill anyway. Yeah. Cause normally when it's half inch, it's, it's super, tight. super tight. Mm -hmm. Um, I can understand wanting the quarter inch Chrome or the quarter inch three eighths. I, I get it. I understand. Um, I said for a while that I didn't understand. Um, I still think that you can use the ADV uh, impact version in place of them, yeah, yeah, but I, I understand that some people want the chrome. Well, I a lot of you. the older guys, I think, like I remember my dad's impact sockets. Those things were massive. Yeah. Like, yeah. it seemed like it was quarter inch sidewalls, right? Yeah. <laughs> it was ridiculously huge. But yeah. like now, the, they're, they're very, so close. very, very slim you yeah know. they're they're so close and and i think you know I, I had a guy argue with me um a couple of days ago about a spark plug socket being chrome and the the first thing to come to my mind was you're doing it wrong uh and, and i have a problem where i say what i mean pretty quick mm -hmm. sometimes without meaning it and uh and i just straight up tell him you're doing it wrong and that hurt his feelings and i didn't mean it to but at no point are you really supposed to put a spark plug in with an impact sure and my thing is is sure you can take spark plugs out with an mm -hmm. impact you're supposed to have already broke it loose mm -hmm. so at that point you're not putting any pressure on that chrome socket that's that's right. that's why they don't make impact version uh spark plug sockets so mm -hmm. you know yeah i i was the world's worst to break them loose all of them loose with a ratchet and then take my impact and, and pull them out that's fine um, but you're not putting any pressure on the uh, spark plug at that point. So sure. I, I guess if it's on a Ford, yeah. uh, the ones that like get the, stuck the five, four, yeah. three valves, you're better off to let that bad boy get hot, stick the impact in there and just let her rip. Let her rip. So that I've heard the best way to do those. And, and I tried it on my uncle's truck. I actually put PB blaster down in there on one side while it was good and hot mm -hmm. and, uh, let it sit for a minute and then took my impact and they come right out. So yeah. that one I'll give an exception, but you're doing that Toyota Corolla and you're putting them in with the impact. Oh yeah, you're, you're, you're waiting crazy. To, you know, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. If you've ever had to do a uh, tune up twice, uh, might as well that's probably that why. Because thread you, chaser uh, yeah. kit out. And... Well, not just that, but the porcelain cracks so oh, yeah. easily. I mean, and that's what I, I've, I've been to a parts house and they drop the spark plug and it's like, I don't want that one. It's fine. Sure. No, I don't want that one. Mm -hmm. It's fine. No, you're not understanding. Like that porcelain could have cracked and it's going to be me. It's going to be back your down. fault. Right. Yeah. And I'm going to forget which one you gave me. And it's going to go underneath the intake somewhere mm -hmm. on the worst job ever. And then that'll be the be. one that's the hardest to get to every time. Yep. I don't Definitely. want no part of it. Well, I'll tell you a cool design. I know you're a tool guy and I know you don't sell them or whatever, but have you seen the Koken spark plug sockets that have the pressure clips in it? Yes. Those are awesome. So, as thin as they are. Yes. I've looked at those. I've had some of those uh, um, that I've been able to touch, feel, look at. Um, I like them. Mm -hmm. I, I really do. Um, like, I love the Vim ones that's the got the magnets in them. Yeah. That little spark plug kit, the spark plug master set or whatever. That's a cool set. But I like the idea of those clips. So I think Koken is um, pretty much the the brains behind 
all the clip idea because I think they did the sockets for the clip around them mm -hmm. too. Had the little ball the in there. Grips, yeah. I think that is um, the smartest thing ever because the problem with magnets, even if you glue them into this socket, heating, uh, heating up, cooling off, heating up, and that, and, and I'm not talking about using a torch to heat it up. If that, we're in a rust belt, so stuff's going to oh, be yeah. rusted anyway. It's going to heat that socket up, taking it off just from you know the hammering and everything else. The heating and cooling of that glue is going to eventually allow that to fall out. Clip's not falling out. So. Well, the thing I don't like about magnets was, I don't remember if you remember back, but I bought a set of magnetic sockets that you had on the Matco truck. Right. Just, I think they was three-eighths impact sockets. Right? So. Great sockets. But just the rush from the impact yep. corrodes those magnets so bad, it? and they are a booger to clean out like yeah. you can blow them out with our air hose and you'll think okay i got most of it you'll look down in there now no. yeah so you know there's there's always pros and cons to everything and uh i i think coken is is another one of those companies i'll give credit where credit's due i, I think they're trying to reinvent stuff mm -hmm. they're not reinventing the wheel they're just improving the wheel well right? they're like them they look at a problem say hey we can we can make this better and they move forward with it and they do a good job yeah so and that's uh that's the thing with them every tool that i that i have seen with them uh i don't know that they've copied a single person yeah. on any of their designs and you see that in the tool world to where it's like okay we've released our version and it's like yeah that looks exactly like that one mm -hmm. uh, that looks exactly like that one you know and there'll be 12 different companies that all have the same thing and Vim's like no 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 we we made it better here let me show you yeah you know the the little fold up stool that they have mm -hmm. the thing goes to a pancake and and it's just small right. stuff like that well a lot of companies will take the idea and it appears to be an improvement when when you boil all the meat off the bone it ain't worth the crap right yeah. it just looks a little different because i know i'm not gonna name any brands but now there's some bits that are sold like the rbrt bits or the grip edge bits that are sold in home depot and lowe's i'm sure you've seen them yep you know they're yellow and black boxes they look similar but does it work right so and then what, you've seen the wrenches that have those lines cut in them yeah yeah versus the way that a lot of them are made and so we're gonna we're gonna show you the two most copied um, things that was copied and skirted just past the patent. That's okay. all we did. We got just past the patent. Like you said, the RBRT, mm -hmm. uh, that they're they're out there. We've all saw them. But there is nine companies now. I say nine. I don't actually know how many. Don't quote me on nine. But um, there is people every day that's like, hey, I got some of your bits. Like you did. They're like, yeah, but we got them on a super good deal because they didn't have Maco on them. So like, well, you didn't get my bits in. It's like, yeah, yeah, just don't get your name on it. Well, these are the short ones. Um, but they don't have the short ones yet. But just because they got that spiral up there doesn't mean it's that design. That that design is patented to Mako. And somebody's going to say, ah, Mako don't make them. You're 100% right. Yep. Mako don't make them. Well, who does? Astro. I think it's Astro. It is. It's Astro. You're correct. Um, but because I, I was furious when I started seeing, and I'm not going to name the names, if you know Corinth, Mississippi, there's a warehouse there that, that sells this company stuff. But either way, we'll go on. Uh, they're, they're walking around saying, hey, we got the Mako bits just as good. Here, cut something. And it cuts pretty good, mm -hmm. but it's not these. Ours go up against it and beat it every time. We did how many demos in shops, body shops? Uh, ours beats it every time. Now, the big thing that gets our customers is, but they're spot. It doesn't matter that they're spiled. Yeah. That spiral has geometry inside of these little spirals that make them so good. It's patented to Mako. I got on the call with Astro because they were at one of our meetings and they were like, look, this is the ones we're making for them. This yep. is the ones we're making for you. There is a difference. Y'all have the better design. Mm -hmm. our well, I can tell you that patent there. Yeah. This this patent here. I'm fixing the hurts with feelings. You know, there's going to be some negative comments, but I'm hurt with feelings. All right, so this patent, do you know how it's patented? You know what's covered by that patent? I don't, but I I'm can sure tell you can. this. No United States 
drill bit manufacturer uses that same pattern. Well, and that's what I was getting to. So, so if it's made in the USA, and you would be surprised how few drill companies, drill bit companies are in America, but none of them can use that design. Well, and from what we got told um, was that the reason being that they're not is it costs so much to actually um, to do them that just nobody in the U.S. wants to spend the time to, to do them. But either way, like you said, it's a patent. that If, if it says made in the U.S.A. in this company, that's what they say. Hey, we've got the same design as Maco, but it's made in the U.S.A. No, you don't have the same design. That's not going to happen. But, well, the, from my understanding, the the patent applies to how many spirals there is, yeah, I, and and the cut of that spiral. Right, that's what we were told. So, the cut. So, yeah. um, hey, well, look, we just verified something through each other. But yeah, because um, when they first told me that, I was like, man, are they shooting smoke up me? Like, am I fishing to go out here and somebody's gonna prove me wrong? Well, there's um, one company that's really, really close. Yeah. There is. Like really, really close, but it's still not the same. Right. Well, and... Uh, like if you don't have a Matco guy, this is your next best alternative. Yeah. I'll put it that way. Yeah. So, and and, and listen, that that's what we were talking about last night on a call. There's always going to be somebody out there trying to sure. make something. And if they're not, why are they even making tools? Mm -hmm. At that point, why are they making them? Well, so, that's what's made where we're at now so much better than where it yeah. was 30 years ago. Right. Oh, it's so exciting now in the tool world oh, yeah. because the, something can come out today. Somebody's got a solution in a week. I, I see it as kind of like uh, when uh, we were competing to who can get to the moon the quickest, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody had the same idea. Put somebody on a rocket, get them up there, but it's who can come out with it first and who has the better design, right? Yeah. So it, it is a race every day. Um, and the, the, the scanner tool world is, mm -hmm. is there. I'm not going to go a whole bunch because there's a lot of scanner world supposed to be shook up and I'm just going to sit back and watch and enjoy, but take that as it might take it as a leak, do whatever you want to do. I didn't tell you nothing in it as far as details, but it's a uh, pretty cool to see. So cool. Man, it's always neat to see something pretty on it. Yeah, it is. And I, and I got to, uh, to listen in about certain stuff that's going to be changed and, so what kind of time frame is that going to be, you think? Probably December. Cool. The word's going to get out um, probably starting next week, I would say. The word's going to get out. and uh, Next week's a big week in the tool world. Yeah, it is. The word's probably going to start going out as of next week. And you may already heard it. You may comment in the comments what it is. And that's great. But I don't want to be that guy that throws it out there right away. So... Just when you see it and you read it and you're like, hey, maybe that's what he was talking about, you're probably right. Because mm -hmm. it's going to be a big announcement. Uh, it's hurt some feelings, um, some macro distributor feelings. Um, I don't know why. I think if it did, it, you're looking at it the wrong way. Um, see, I've thrown everybody off now. Nobody knows what it is. Um, the macro dealers do, I promise you. Yeah. And, and they're yeah. probably telling me to shut up right now. <laughs> so... <laughs> It's just what it is. You ain't got to listen to them, folks. Yeah. <laughs> Their opinion don't matter. They don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Shut up. But no, um, they probably don't want it released right now yeah. um, because it's 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 100% in stone. Like, it's happening. I'll put it to you this way. It's in a flyer. When that flyer comes out depends on your distributor. So. Cool. I, I don't want to be that guy, so. When you Looking see it, forward to seeing it. Know that I that I hinted at it, <laughs> but it is it's it's gonna it's gonna change some stuff. I'm looking forward to be able to brag about it because I'm excited about it. It, it uh, I can't go any further. That I want to. Good. That's good I know that. so much about it. I want to talk about <laughs> it. Uh, it falls along this line of copying. Yeah. Um, but. For the first time ever, I was promised is not a copy. Let me put it that that way. Good. So, perfect. We'll see. So there's going to be a lot of probably traded in last generation Matco scanners coming soon, man. Maybe. Um, I don't know about the last generation. 
but if I had like the, I'm gonna go on record and say I hate the Mac O 2.0. There's a lot of people out there that love the 2.0. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a customer who just recently updated from the 2.0, um, and he freaking loves it. Like he's still keeping it, but it is so slow to me. Yeah. Like what's well, all what you get used to, right? Yeah, but I hated the 2.0 when I was a technician. We had a guy that had a 2.0, and I freaking hated it. Like, hated it. And when I become a Maco distributor, I was like, I'm not selling the 2.0. And they're like, hey, we we don't sell that no more. It's a dinosaur. And it's like, oh, well, it sucked. But um, <laughs> well, Let me tell you how I really feel about it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I've told you from the beginning, if I don't like a tool, I'm going to yeah. tell you. And the 2.0 was just, ugh. The 3.0 is great. 4.0 is even better. Uh, the Max Flex is great. The Max Flex A is great. We've got a lot of great software, um, but uh, there's Alltel out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's Thinkcon. You can't or, forget about Top Don. Yeah, you. you oh, I may have said the, I said the wrong name there, but either way, um, you, you've got so many companies out there, and they all look real, real, real similar mm-hmm. for now. There's my pitch on it's that. Good enough. Sounds but, good to me. Um, yeah. So if it's ever, if you ever wonder in your head, if you've got a 2.0 in your head and you're like, "What does, what does Michael Michael think about it?" That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys are looking to trade in a scanner, don't bring a 2.0 on this truck. I if you have a 2.0, you. actually, you know, we did a uh, trade in where you you could get depending on the scanner, depending on the shape, depending on a lot of different factors. You could get five, seven hundred fifty thousand dollars for a two point on a trade in. Wow. If you have a two point and you're in my area, my area, you bring it to me. We're getting you in something else. There come on, go. come on there around. You. Hook it up. There you go. Well, if you guys have not got in the giveaway, don't forget there's one going on now. You have to go to the last video to uh, get the, in. The four point is awesome though. Let me throw that. The four point is look great. If you're thinking about buying a four point go out there and buy it now because it's it's there. See, I would say don't buy it now. Wait till the flyer comes out and get the new one. <laughs> That's what I, I'd say. You know? You're making the matters worse. Hush. Why are you going to buy last, last week's model, right? No, the 4.0 is great. It's You guys wait and get the new one. It's probably something really good with it. It probably fixes I the car. I never said it was another scanner it coming out, It probably fixes the car for you. Just plug it oh, up and it. go to lunch. That's it. Done. <laughs> We've set the expectations so high for this. We screwed up. All right, guys. Like always, thanks for hanging out with us. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Merchandise over here. Cool tools and discount codes down there. If you're not in the giveaway, go do it and click that subscribe button. See ya.